Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Alls and today we will be taking a look at a car which is uh, pretty much broken as far as the rating is concerned. So this is the newly released Chargers 3 edition which is currently available in the bronze crates. Pretty much, I think you need 7 blueprints for it, I bought this one off the market so, well, here it is and it's maxed. It's an R class car which is maxed out at 1668. What this is, this is terrible, like seriously, um, I mean, I, I don't mean the car, the car looks amazing, but just the, this is like bad for ass class, and yet this car is placed in other class, I'm assuming it's a glitch which, uh, which will be fixed by glue, um, so pretty much uh, we can as well go over the max up here. So let's do that. I mean, the car looks pretty nice. I still prefer the Mustang Steel Edition over it, but still, this is pretty nice as well. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Hellcat in the way it drives as well, but we'll get to that eventually. Uh, there we go. So this car uses a common sense tune, pretty much as most other cars do. It's uh, by far the slowest uh, Steel Edition car in the game right now, mainly because, you know, it's... It's 1668 when maxed. I mean, like, I, th I just went for the same part of the whole time. Supsie. Um, seriously, like, this car, it's it's definitely gonna be fixed, or at least put into S-Class. But it's weird, like, you don't tend to see uh, that the glue messes up cars on the launch, and, you know, especially that they're still broken a few days after. I mean, uh, the only time I really remember a car being broken on launch is the Focus RS, where I think they, uh, I'm not sure, um, like they gave away, uh, not gave away, but uh, they put a front wheel drive version into the game, so four wheel drive, and now you pretty much have two versions of the Focus RS, um, it's, it's weird, but like this one is, I don't know, like they probably didn't do a lot of testing with it, and it's kind of noticeable. Uh, still, this car does come with a uh, matte rat, pretty much uh, out of the crates, which is a nice bonus, I mean. Also, I went for the paint here, as you guys can see, it literally says uh, the name of uh, the black paint is New Color, so uh, yeah, good job there. Still, matte rat is obviously uh, always available on this car, which is a nice uh, bonus. And I mean, I would put some really nice rims on the car, but stock rims just look amazing. Hold on, where are they? There you go, they're here, and they, I mean, I really like the look of these rims, so I'll probably just keep them on the car. I mean, here uh, is the preview with some, like, decent looking first place rims. Obviously, you won't be able to put huge rims on the car, uh, but it's not as bad as uh, some other Evos, because, you know, um, the car is huge, so it really doesn't seem as bad as it usually does on other cars. But we're gonna hop into a lobby here, have a few practice runs. Obviously, now I did a few uh, already. I believe that the release is just after the first light comes on, kind of similar to the NSX RR or the Camaro Z28. So, test that theory out. There we go. And the shifting is, I'm not sure, to be honest. Like, I only uh, raised this. Uh, so I could, you know, actually get the perfect launch on Vidal. Didn't really test out the shifting, also I completely forgot that I'm supposed to put, uh, put a uh, fucking stage B, I mean, not a stage B, Pro A, not as bottle on the car, because it's S class, really. I mean, it might say it's R class, but no, this is a slow S class car, at the best. Also running out of gems here, might need to uh, top up pretty soon, so I'll probably do that. I mean, as far as the car, uh, the actual driving is concerned, it's pretty easy to drive. I mean, we lost the bot lobby here, which is unfortunate, but, uh, oh well. We have a lot of uh, cover jets here, which are faster. But, you know, seeing how uh, they probably don't know that the car is glitched, uh, I'm not sure how many free runs we're, we're actually gonna get here. So, let's see. It's weird though, like, uh, I'm not sure what class the Porsche is, um, or the Warsteiner, but, um, it's probably faster than this, even if it is as, uh, as class, I just say as class, Jesus Christ. There we go. I'm gonna try to shift to around 7.8k as it seems, otherwise I just hit the limiter, 
Yeah, it was a pretty slow run. Oh well. I mean, I'm not great with the card, obviously. I think I just uh, screenshotted uh, a black space there. Not black space, black screen. Yeah, there it goes. It's. it's more appropriate. Jesus, though, like, I've never seen something like this before. It's pretty broken. Let's see. Okay, I can spell, you know, badly. Also, on a completely random note, I would like to uh, pretty much uh, speak about something. So, every now and then, I get these people who, like, give me donations. And, I mean, not because they want to, you know, support me, but because they want to get on camera or get shoutouts or something. And I, like, I fucking raged at one of them today, pretty much because, like, I don't do these videos for donations, like at all, and I'm, I think I'm about to stop actually taking donations because like <sighs> this kid today gave me a fucking stock Nissan R33 which you can get tons of them from the crates and like he, then he wanted me to give him a shout out plus being a bit up, plus all that shit, and I pretty much told him no, take the card back, he took the card back and like Dude, I don't owe you anything. If you want to donate, that's exactly what it is. It's because you want to support me. And it means that I owe you nothing in return. I make with us. And, you know, if you want to support it, that's okay. But, like, you won't fucking buy a shout-out for yourself. Because, you know, I have a certain level of integrity here. So... Express with all those fun, full of fails. Yeah, this is pretty much like that, except it's, you know, in a... R class car, except it's really S class. So let's have uh, another one here. It's pretty easy to get consistent with this car. And then I fuck up. That's brilliant. Okay. So pretty much, I would say that, that I'm gonna do a follow up with on this car when it's fixed. But then again, I'm done. I don't know if Glue's actually gonna fix it. There you go. I hit that. Um, but uh, as of right now, this car. Are you fucking serious? Like, I'm trying to make a fucking video here. Fuck off, seriously. I'm gonna go to a different room now. Fucking dishwasher bullshit. Anyways, uh, I mean, yeah, I pretty much only went here so I can actually do the outro because the car broke right now. Great. Okay, so, I mean, my opinion on the car, it looks great. I mean, uh, that's pretty much the only thing it does right now because other than that, it's pretty much broken. It's... It's a good looking car, but it's slow as shit, especially for R class. It is by far the slowest R class car, if this was actually intentional. But I'm assuming it's gonna be put into S class or uh, perhaps, you know, bumped uh, up in uh, the terms of speed, which I mean, this car deserves it. It really is a um, good car to drive. It's nice to look at, but it's just, you know, fucking. It doesn't know which class it is. Like, the speed is S class and. It says R class, it's fucking weird. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Jared, and I'll try to get my hands on the Water Steiner. Perhaps that's uh, not as broken. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!